Hey everyone on YouTube, it's Omega coming at you with another comic book video. Um, I figured I'd give you guys something to look at since um, we love comics. My friend Chris, he gave me a shout out and completely took me by surprise. But I have about 10 or 12 new followers just because of the shout out, which is, you know, awesome. I didn't even have to make a video just to get followers for that one. <clears throat> Thank you for the subscription, guys. Um, I wanted to share something with you. This is my first... Not this one that I'm showing you, but I'm, it's going to be like a comparison. This is CGC, obviously X-Men 12. Uh, first appearance of the Sentinels. <clears throat> this is one of my, um, not my first CGC books that I bought, but I really wanted to share um, something that's uh, kind of, I don't know if you'd call it rare, but years ago, um, not too long ago, but quite some time, towards the beginning of uh, CGC's uh, company progression, I guess you can call it, they had a, a program that they would teamed up with Wizard, and um, they made this book. Um, I guess it was kind of like an early release type thing. Um, I'll just show you so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. This is one of the first CGC books that I bought. Um, <clears throat> you might be looking at this and say, what the heck is that? Um, CGC did a Wizard's First program. So I'm guessing uh, 9.5 would be um, comparable to a 9.8. So if uh, Daredevil Father, Wizard Philadelphia, let me show you the case. It's really cool looking. Um, sorry. Daredevil's Father, it's number 43 out of 175 graded for Wizard's first program. So Wizard World 2004, Con Edition, um, awesome book. This was my first CGC book that I bought. Daredevil's Father, 9.5, as you can see. I brought out the other one just so you can see the difference in the labeling. <clears throat> I think there was uh, Daredevil's Father number one and there was also Wolver a Wolverine's comic that they came out with. But as you can see, this is not like the old school CGC labels where they were red or the, the blue with the small print. This is uh, a very, I don't know if you'd call it a rare type thing. It's not the most expensive thing to find just because it doesn't have a lot of attention towards it. But like it says, there's only 175 graded, which actually will trump quite a few of the, um, I mean, if you take in consideration like the first appearance of Deadpool, that one has about three, 4,000 graded and a 9.8, and then it has, you know, a couple thousand for the 9.6s. This is very limited, 175 graded. And not all of them got this grade either. Some of them got lower. But um, as far as a 9.5, I was looking this over and this is pretty comparable to a 9.8. I mean, like, if you look at the corners, like they're pretty darn... Uh, let's see if I can get it to zoom. Like, the corners are, like, immaculate. There's no dings, no nothing on it. So I'm guessing, since this was towards their early points in grading, that a 9.5, like I said, would be <coughs> comparable to a 9.8. See that corner, how beautiful they are? I mean, these, these, this book is just, you know, so nice. Like I said, it was one of the first CGC books that I bought. So I um, kind of wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I posted it on my Instagram account, and a whole bunch of people were asking me if I was selling it just because they realized how rare it was. Figured I'd give this book some hype before, um, before anything happens in Daredevil, you know, with Netflix. You know, heaven forbid they mention a father, and there you go. Something, you know, crazy freaks out over this one. But I um, figured I'd share it with you guys and uh, give a thanks and a shout-out to We Love Comics. Thank you for the shout-out, bro. Really appreciate it, and um, happy collecting.